Hi my dear student today we will discuss chapter 5 two dimensional analytical geometry exercise 5.4 question number 2 find the equation of the tangent to the hyperbola x square by 16 minus y square by 64 equal to 1 which are parallel to 10x minus 3y plus 9 equal to 0 we want to find out the equation of the tangent to the hyperbola which is x square by 16 minus y square by 64 equal to 1 which are parallel to 10x minus 3y plus 9 equal to 0 So in this case, from the equation of the tangent x square by a square minus y square by b square equal to one. Therefore, a square equal to sixteen, or b square equal to sixty-four. And in this case, your tangent parallel to this line. Therefore, slope of the tangent. This is equal to slope of this line because parallel. The tangent is parallel to the straight line 10x minus 3y plus 9 equal to zero. Therefore, slope of the tangent will be minus x coefficient by y coefficient. It will be 10 by 3, which is nothing but m. In this case, from the equation of the hyperbola, I will get the value of a square 16, b square 64. And they said your tangent is parallel to 10x minus 3y plus 9 equal to zero. It gives the slope of the tangent that is minus x coefficient by y coefficient, which is ten by three, that is m. In this case, equation of the tangent is of the form equation of the tangent is of the form y equal to m x plus c, where c equal to plus or minus square root of a square m square. Minus b square. Equation of the tangent is of the form y equal to m x plus c, but c is nothing but plus or minus square root of a square m square minus b square. Okay, just substitute y equal to m m s 10 by 3 into x plus or minus square root of what is a square 16 into m square 10 by 3 whole square minus b square that is 64. Got it? Just replace m equal to 10 by 3. A square is 16. B square is 64. Simplify. Y equal to 10x by 3 plus or minus square root of 16. 10 times are under 1600 by 9 minus 64. 10x by 3 plus or minus square root of When you take LCM, sixty-four nines are five seventy-six by nine. Therefore, ten x by three plus or minus. When you subtract thousand six hundred minus five seventy-six gives thousand twenty-four by nine. After taking square root, it will be thirty-two by three. Thirty-two into thirty-two thousand twenty-four divided by square root of nine is three. Take LCM, 10x plus or minus 32 divided by 3. When you cross multiply, 3y will be 10x plus or minus 32. 10x minus 3y plus or minus 32. Therefore, in this case, equation of the tangent is 10x minus 3y. Plus thirty two equal to zero, or ten x minus three y minus thirty two equal to zero. Got it? In this case, equation of the tangent will be ten x minus three y plus thirty two equal to zero, or ten x minus three y minus thirty two equal to zero. Very simple. Here you want to find out the equation of the tangent to the hyperbola, and your tangent parallel to the given straight line. So from the equation of the hyperbola, I get the value of a square 16, b square 64, and from the straight line, I can find the slope which is 10 by 3. They said parallel, therefore, slope of the tangent will be m that is 10 by 3. Just replace m value, a square value, b square value here. Just simplify. Finally, you are getting 10x minus 3y plus or minus 32 equal to 0, which gives the tangent equation in this case that is 10x minus 3y plus 32 equal to 0, or 10x minus 3y minus 32 equal to 0. Got it?